we've gotten our hands on some new star citizen alpha 3.22 evo cardi leaks and we're going straight into it a big shout out a big shout out to the pipeline discord channel for providing these extra details that we can look into while we wait for the 322 patch before we move forward for those that don't know the channel goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year and i cannot do it without you guys so if you watch this content regularly make sure to hit the subscribe button let's move on so the very first thing that the pipeline discovered was um, in relation to reputation so it says here that you will need reputation in order to obtain certain items now so there is uh i believe in some of the xmls they have some shop UI restrictions here. It says license required and um, it says restricted item. So um, also it says you do not have, I guess the uh, the tool tip for it is you do not have the required reputation to purchase this item. So that is going to be interesting. So will this lead to maybe being able to buy special weapons, special armor, um, all the way up to even special ships? I think that would be interesting um, to lock uh, certain ships behind, at least certain military variants uh, behind um, reaching a certain level of reputation with some of the um, factions within the game. So that's going to be interesting. So maybe the military version of the F7 um, will be something that will, will give people purpose to actually um, acquire and grind for okay so up next here is jump town drug labs it seems like they're changing location for the jump town drug labs it's nice to see that they're changing it up so it says jump town on yellow to daymar so daymar is not going to be the hot zone during jump town event also paradise cove on lira has been moved over to walla and raven's roost on calliope has also been moved to microtech so it's going to change things up new new locations it's going to new terrain so it's going to be a little bit different in terms of how you're going to have to engage these locations okay up next is xion ship weapon so we all know that the xion um uh the new xion heavy fighter is going to be coming out forget the name of it um sentak yeah i think and um with it i think there's going to be a new uh xion laser weapon that's going to be coming with it i think it's going to be size three from what it looks like here and i believe it's a laser repeater and the manufacturer is called toral aggregate okay and um, it, it is a size three and the description says inspired by xian mail tech and tailored made by toral aggregate exclusively for the apoa sanctuary the yen two laser repeater Accentuate, accentuates the ship's dexterity with a fighter's edge that's going to be interesting i'm very curious to see how this thing is going to look i'm sure it's going to look like it actually matches the ship and uh, it is a cool looking ship so it'll be interesting to see some cool alien weapons all right up next they have some goodies packs from the citizen con it says uh some of the flares that they were going to give to those people um will be receiving him in possibly 3.22 so one of the first items that they did find is a multi-tool box okay so it says put your multi-tool on display with a toolbox reclaimed from pyro system that not only withstand the star's dangerous flares but also the ravages of time so that's going to be interesting this is going along with the um inventory containers the cargo containers that we can physically put items in that's also coming with 322 so um it's going to be cool to have these little boxes that we could actually store our weapons utilities and things like that so that's going to be interesting up next is the headhunters relic okay so it says light your way with this reproduction of the iconic headhunter seal of authority crafted at the promotion of the new chief this lamp is constructed using four skulls and one provided by each of the chief's four counselors as a sign of their loyalty and serves as a symbol of the chief's new authority. That is insane, man. I'm sure this thing is going to look insane uh, once we see it in game. All right. So 
Up next, they also have a trophy from CitizenCon 2023. It says commemorate CitizenCon 2953 with a trip to the dark side. With this unique trophy fashioned from debris and extracted from the dangerous pyro system. So that's also another thing that people um, that uh, went to CitizenCon may also be getting. Hopefully we can find these in loot boxes as well. It'll be interesting to also loot this as well. Up next, it says Arena Commander Lobby Gameplay. So they have some new items in the UI for Arena Commander. The first one is ban player. So it seems like they're going to be giving us the ability to also ban players. So that's going to be good. And it's also, um, there's also going to be an option to demote from mod. So that's going to be interesting. And also host. Interesting, interesting. I'm, more, I'm curious. So would people be able to, I'm, I'm assuming um, gameplay sessions or at least multi coup sessions could be hosted on certain on people's machines or how is this going to work or is host meaning people will be able to um, watch um, gameplay and also do commentary on it and just be a viewer maybe that's what host means so we'll have to see also it says promote to host as well and also promote to mod so it is it looks like those that are in game will have the options to promote certain people whether to be banned or to be promoted to host or mod so that's going to be interesting okay up next is the new cargo crates it says um open container shared all right so it says here designed by one of the most trusted names in cargo pods the store all self-storage container provides a convenient place to keep anything too cumbersome to carry on your person it's durable impact resistant construction and sealed to survive the vacuum of space all right that's really cool and they also have here um one seu two seu four seu and eight seu containers self-storage containers this is going to be so cool honestly so one thing i'm really excited about is you're, you're going to also be able to loot other players that have containers that have their own personal items in those containers things that they may have acquired doing missions or throughout their missions right as we move forward to star citizen we're going to be able to live within our ships and people are going to be putting their items in these containers so if you take over somebody's ship you can actually loot these items and that's awesome okay that is really awesome another thing that i'm really curious about is will we run into npcs in game that we destroy their ships and have these self storage containers also with random items in these boxes that would be also really cool to do it will give people purpose to actually grind and maybe kill erts or you know do bounty hunting and just loot as well um i think that would add a lot to the game if we actually get that okay up next is there's um suggestion that there may be a gray cat uh vehicle coming from what they say here is called the gray cat cav but we will have to see once again these are all leaks so take this with a grain of salt but but the biggest one here that i'm hearing here is what they're seeing here is the entire address model including the interior might possibly be textured also okay so this might be in we might actually see the full idris build um and being able to actually go inside of it will be interesting to see some people are thinking we might even have missions related to the idris as well that would be really cool to see an 890 jump type of mission some of the guys are estimating that that might happen if we get something like that that would be awesome it'll be awesome to actually do that and uh, try to take over an Idris. That would be an awesome. Um, especially if we can fight it and then put it in soft death and we have to raid it after. That would be epic. I would love to see that. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.